Good to see you guys. I did miss some of you guys. Nice <laughs> <laughs> to be back here. Why, what do you consider reasonable expectations? Your expectations? What you, what you expect of this season? For our team? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I would say something that I learned this year, this uh, last, uh, last season is that um, you can't you have to expect a lot from yourself. You know, you have to, you know, for myself, I, I have to just go out there and play as hard as I can and believe that my teammates are going to do the same thing. And uh, one thing that you know, we've been talking about all summer as, as a group is that we have to expect greatness from ourselves first, you know, before we expect it from anybody else. And um, I just expect, expect myself to go out and play as hard as I can every night and give this team uh, my best, uh, so uh, we can't have that opportunity to win a championship. How much did you guys learn or, or grow from that playoff series to take you to the start of this season? Well, I think uh, we learned a lot uh, the whole year. Uh, one thing that we talked about all summer was uh, never taking any possessions off, you know, understanding that each moment of the game counts. And, uh, you know, for a lot of us who were here, you know, that point nine seconds you know, was stuck in our minds a lot. Uh, but we have to move past it. You know, we've got a lot of new guys on our team. Um, we're eager, we're excited uh, about uh, the upcoming season. It seemed like uh, for some reason the summer was really, really fast. Um, the basketball season is here again. You know, so uh, we're, we're looking forward to a uh, Great year. Uh, I, I like the, the pieces that we have. Uh, we're going to miss a lot of those guys: you know, Chandler, Jeremy, Big O, uh, Armory, uh, uh, Jordan. We're going to miss a lot of those guys, you know, especially uh, the bond that we that we developed, you know, off the court. You know, we were we were real brothers, and you know, I know for myself and uh, the other guys who were here, we just added some new brothers. So it's tough to see people leave. It's the nature of the business. Uh, we wish those guys nothing but the best, except when they play us. Uh, and you know, we're looking forward to um, just bonding and going as a team. You know, I like uh, the way the young guys have been in the gym, been in the track. You know, I've been keeping in contact with those guys um, since I've you know back and forth between Houston and um, Santa Barbara talking to Joe on a constant basis. Uh, and, you know, we just, we really uh, have uh, some, some great goals for our team. With the additions that you've made, a lot of those kinds of defensive-minded players, what are your expectations of this team defensively to be run to 21 last year? I just think um, I have to do my job. I have to do my job and trust that everybody else will do theirs. Uh, but for me, you know, I just have to make sure that I'm active. That I'm talking, that I'm moving, that I'm the last line of defense for my teammates. Because you know, we're all going to make mistakes, but we all have to you know, help each other when we do make those mistakes. What changes have you made to assume that type of leadership position, seeing how you have the younger guys on the team, with the exception uh, of I'm Jerry still going to be who I am. When mm -hmm. you come in, I'm going to work hard, I'm going to have fun. Uh, when we step on the floor, you know, everybody understands that it's about business. Uh, no matter how many jokes I tell or how I am in my room, uh, we step on the floor. I think those guys understand that you know we are here for one goal, and that's to win. Uh, they've been saving all summer. You know, we've been working together, um, talking, training, going out to eat, uh, going to each other's houses. You know, just spending time together and, and just really bonding and talking about you know how we can take you know the loss from last season, the hurt that we all felt, and and use that as motivation for this year. Last year, you were coming in from off of the, the back surgery, and I guess there are questions, you know, physically, you know, how would it all hold up? Do you feel just a lot more comfortable, confident, because you did it, you're back? 
Oh, well, uh, when you have a, a serious injury, is um, the back injury that I suffered, uh, it takes time to heal. And uh, I don't think a lot of people really understood you know, how serious the injury was. That was something that could have been career ending. And I uh, decided to come back and play uh, earlier than I was supposed to. And, you know, I suffered a lot on the floor because of that. Um, but I'm a lot healthier now. I had a really good summer of training. Um, and I'm just looking forward to this season. I think all the, the, the hard work and the preparation that I did this summer uh, is really going to you know, help me and uh, help our team. How much do you think it will help you having a year under your belt with this team? Uh, well, we got a lot of new guys. You know, we got a, you know, a lot of young guys also. Um, but I think the experience that you know myself, and Trevor, and JT, uh, James, you know, all the experience that we, we, we've had, uh, we, we, we can really help this, uh, the, the young guys. You know, we're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to have those bad games, and those moments where uh, we go through a lot of, you know, you know adversity on the floor. Uh, we just got to learn how to fight through them, you know, as a team. And it's on, you know, myself and James and the rest of the vets, you know, to really just lead by example when we have those moments. And I think we're prepared for that because we've been through the worst. You know, um, it's something going to make us better. Dwight, as someone that's played internationally before, what did you think of James's play this summer uh, on the World Cup team? I was, I was very happy for him. You know, before he left, uh, we talked a lot. You know, he was talking about the season and uh, our mindsets going into this year. And, um, and I just really try to do whatever I can to you know, build his confidence up. You know, a lot of people were saying things about his play. And I know he was down on himself, but I believe in James. And everything I said last year, I still believe it this year. I'm going to stand by it. And I think he's going to have one of his greatest seasons you know, today. I was very happy with the way he played this summer. He led the team. Uh, he shot well. He played great defense. Um, he passed well. And he's very active, you know, so I was very, very excited to see that. And I was happy for him uh, and the rest of the, those guys who win it. Um, so I, after seeing that, you know, I was just like, man, I can't wait, you know, for us to get started. We've been talking all summer and see him play. Uh, you know, we're both excited. You, you don't play the same position. You don't have the same roles. Is there anything you can do at all to help him bridge the gap and become better defensively? Oh, well, see, I don't think it's, it's a problem with him. People see him and they say, well, he makes a mistake here and there, and they talk about his defense. You know, we all have um, our problems on the floor, but it's on me and the rest of the guys to cover up, you know, anybody's mistakes. You know, we're all going to make mistakes. I'm going to be there on defense sometimes, but, you know, we all have to be there for each other. You know, and that's why we are a team. Um, and I think he's going to be, he's going to be, like I said, he's going to have one of his, his greatest years to date. You kind of touched on it, but does it make you upset, or did it make you upset when people are talking so bad about him and his defense and blaming I mean, him? Uh, uh, just uh, a lot of things were some, you know, uh, upset both of us, um, but that just gave us more fuel, you know, to, to come out this year and uh, be better teammates, uh, be better leaders, um, and be better for our community. You know, so. Uh, like I said, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Uh, coach, he's ready to go. Everybody, you know, we're, we're excited about this season. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it.